Good day, my friends. May God in His infinite mercy make of each and every one of you a fountain, a fountain of light to illuminate those who are in darkness around you, a fountain of living water to give water to those who thirst, a true fountain so that those in your surrounding may know the truth in order for them to be free, set free from their lives. I would like you, friends, because this is what God wants for you to be a blessing. Many people seek the blessings of God. But God does not do us a favor. But He wants to make each and every one of us a blessing. Do you believe in this? Do you believe in this? I believe. This is what Jesus promises in His Word. He promises to make of each and every one of us a fountain of living water. And to be a fountain of living water, for you to be a fountain of the water of life, you need to have the Spirit of life, the Spirit of God. And this is what we have spoken and on hit, hit on this key and insisted in order for people to have the Spirit of the Word of God, the Spirit of God, so that having received the Holy Spirit, they may be free, they may be happy, regardless of whom they will marry, they will, or they're already happy. He does not need to get married to be happy. He's already happy because he has the Spirit of God. He does not need to have an intellectual graduation, professional to be happy, to be fulfilled. He's already fulfilled because of the presence of the Holy Spirit within him. So the happiness consists of this, in you receiving the Spirit of the Most High God. And when we have the Spirit of God, we have the assurance that His words, His Word will be fulfilled regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the news, of the gossips, of the accusations, regardless of the curse or the plague which surrounds humanity. The Word of God does not return empty. Look at what the psalmist said. He prayed. He asked God in a very simple manner, but very well supported in such a way that he was comforted because of this Word. Let us read the scripture which we shall be meditating upon today. It reads naturally. He was in affliction, obviously. So he prayed to God. He cried out to his Lord, the one who gave his word by saying, remember the word to your servant. In other words, remember, O God, the promise you made me. Remember the promise given to your servant, made to your servant, upon which you have caused me to hope. And we hope for the fulfillment of the Word of God. We trust in the fulfillment of the Word of God. We persevere in waiting on the Word of God. And this, my friends, is true. Because no one who hopes, trusts, perseveres in the expectation of the promises of God to be fulfilled in their lives 
will be empty-handed because God is not a man who, for, who promises but does not fulfill. So he says, remember the words to your servant upon which you have caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, which means in his affliction, he had the comfort of the word given by God. For your word has given me life. It's revived me. Look at a, this wonderful scripture. How glorious is it? The proud which means the unbelievers, the atheists, have me in great derision. Yet I do not turn aside from your law, from your word, from your promise. I remembered your judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. I've comforted myself. My friend, this word is for you who have hoped in God, who have trusted in God, you who have remained, you who have persevered in the belief, in the faith upon that which God once spoke. Because even if the storms are great, even if the hardships come, those who trust, who hope, who are firm, who are founded upon the Word of God, these will not be disappointed, they'll not be frustrated. And just look, this is not fanatism. Our faith is founded upon the Word of God. Just as the faith of the doctor is founded upon his technical books, just as an engineer is supported by his technical knowledge to build a house, a building, to build a plane, so we who believe in the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Israel, we who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we found our faith upon His words, upon His promises, upon His scripture, His law, His decrees, His commandments. We found and we wait, we hope and trust and we do not retreat our feet from trusting in Him. However, the proud, which means the unbelievers, those who do not believe in the same God, they may even have religion, they have their own religions, but they do not have the same God we have believed in. These, they mock us greatly. They have us in great derision. However, we do not turn aside from the law of the Lord we do not turn aside from the laws of God. This is glorious. And this law guarantees our success. This law guarantees the victory for those who are supported by it. I remembered your judgments of old, which is what we do every single day here. We remember or we remind everyone the judgments of God which are of old but they are repeated every single day and when we remember him our soul is comforted our soul is consoled we have no depression we do not have depression he who trusts in the word of God does not have depression has no emptiness within him he does not have a hole within him he has no sadness of which those who suffer have had. Those who have their faith founded upon the Word of God. These are consoled, comforted. 
they have their dependence on God and not in men, but in God. They depend on God Most High. This is our faith. The faith upon the word of the Almighty. So when the psalmist in his need, in his desperation, in his affliction, he prayed and said, Remember the word to your servant. Your word to your servant. Only a servant has this assurance. He has the word of God kept within himself and he waits, he hopes, he hopes, he trusts that sooner or later it will be fulfilled. Praise be to God. This word is glorious.